Here we have some word problems that involve quadratic functions. And in both of these, we're being asked to find either a maximum or a minimum value of that quadratic function. And you know, if you think about quadratic functions, it's either an upward opening parabola, it might look something like this. And in that case, you can find, well, the maximum value is going to be infinity because these two arms stretch on up forever. But it does have a minimum value here that you can find out, and it's going to occur at the vertex. If you have a downward opening parabola, the opposite is going to be true. It's going to have a minimum value that's a negative infinity, and it's going to have a maximum value that happens here at the vertex as well. So knowing where the vertex is means we can find uh, the, the maximum or minimum value of, of these quadratic functions. And there's a, a pretty nice shortcut for finding out where the vertex is. If you have a quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, that typical form, then your, uh, the location, the x value, of your vertex is going to be at negative b over 2a. So you just need to take this coefficient of the x term, put it over 2 times the coefficient of the a term, take the negative of that, and that's the x coordinate of your, uh, of your vertex. Let's see how that works in this first problem. It says a ball is thrown vertically upward. After t seconds, its height h in feet is given by this function, h of t equals 120t minus 16t squared. What's the maximum height that the ball will reach? So if we think of this, somebody starts on the ground here and throws a ball up, and it reaches the top, and then it comes down again. So how high did it go? So we want to know that vertex, the location of that vertex, and when we find the location of the vertex, that'll tell us how far along the x we are, then we can use that to calculate the height here, or the y, uh, for this function. Now don't get confused about this function. Um, they've put the, the, well in this case it's t rather than x, they've put the, uh, the t coefficient first, and then the t squared. So our b in this case is 120. So if we're going to find, well we're not finding x, we're finding t. If we're going to find the, the t coordinate of the vertex, it's going to be 120. That's our, our b value here over uh, 2 times a, so that's 2 times negative 16. And then, of course, this thing has a negative sign out in front of it. OK, so that is our t, or x coordinate, of our vertex. If you do all the number crunching there, I think you get um, 3.75. This value we can put back in for t in both these places and calculate the function value, h of t value. That's going to tell us how high that ball gets. So we would uh, do this. We would say h of 3.75 equals 120 times 3.75 minus 16 times 3.75 squared. So as you can see, there is a bit of calculation with these problems. Um, let's see, 3.75 squared times the negative 16. That's a minus 225. And the 120 times 3.75 is 450. So this should equal 225 feet. So that is the maximum height of that ball. So uh, this is one way to do it. We're using this handy little formula here for the location of the vertex, and then plugging that value once we get it back into the original equation to get the value of the function. Uh, you could also solve this graphically if you have a graphing calculator available. And let's try that on this next one. Let me read the second problem. It says an aircraft factory manufactures airplane engines the unit cost, C, the cost in dollars to make each airplane engine, depends on the number of engines made. If X engines are made, then the unit cost is given by this function. OK, so C of X is 1.2 times X squared minus 720X plus 117,273. What's the minimum <clears throat> unit cost? OK, so this is an upward opening parabola. So it's going to have some value 
here, that's going to be the minimum. So we're trying to find the vertex. We can find the vertex by plugging the numbers into this form and then taking that x value and plugging it back in this function, although it looks like a lot of calculation. So I think I'm just going to try to graph this one and see if we can read the vertex from uh, our graphing uh, program. So let me turn over to desmos.com here. And we'll see if we can type this in. So I'm just going to say y equals x squared minus 720 x plus 117,273, I think. Let's just go back and double check I got that right. 273, yeah, OK. Now, I don't see anything on my graph, but that's because this these numbers are big, so it's probably hanging out here somewhere. So I'm just going to zoom out a bunch. Hmm, that looks like our minimum value is going to be, oh, I forgot the 1.2. There we go. Continue zooming out here. Aha, there it is. So there is our, our um, it doesn't look like a parabola because it's so skinny compared to how uh, far out we are. Let me zoom in a little bit more on this and you can see it a little better. So there's our skinny parabola. Let's take a look at this vertex. It'll give it to me. Yeah, there it is. It's the point 300, 9273. 300 is the x, that's the location of this vertex, and then the 9273 is the value, the y value, or the value of the function at that point. So the minimum value here uh, of this function is 9273. And that is our answer. That's the minimum unit cost. So I guess that would be dollars. So that's a little bit of work with some word problems involving quadratic functions.